All right, let's try another use scope problems problem. Uh, so what's going on here? So we have n farms uh, in a row. They are all have a color. Uh, there are 26 colors, A through Z. Uh, okay. There can be repeats, obviously, because there's 100 null boxes and only 26 colors. And we want to find the smallest k such that uh, the substrings of length k are unique, right? So, you know, here that ABCB, ABCD is different than BCDA, is different than CDAB, is different than DABC. Uh, okay, so we can probably just be force this, right? Just try k is 1, 2, 3, 4, you know, and so on. Up to n, I guess. Uh, so let's do that. Uh, where am I? So we're just going to form the string, right, which consists of k characters starting at i. Uh, this condition is slightly tricky, but I think this is right, right? It's just i plus the maximum value of j, which is k minus 1, is uh, valid, is less than that. Uh, so if, you know, how many of these are there meant to be? Well, it goes from 0 to i plus k minus no, 0 to uh, n minus k plus 1. like what I expect. So for the actual submission, do you want the F to open? Uh, cool. 11, where am I? Submit. So this looks like it's right. Uh, cool. So what was going on here? Uh, so this is brute force. Um, we pretty much just need to follow the instructions in the input. Uh, the one, you know, this, this would greatly help if you know about the set, uh, because you want to check if all these strings are unique. And set is good for that, because it 
throws out unique things. So the size of the set is the number of unique strings. Uh, and we just, you know, did a little math to figure out how many of them we expected. If we didn't want to do the math, we could have just like incremented a counter for each value by, but you know, it's not that bad. Because uh, this condition here is the same as i is less than n minus k plus one. And you know that a loop from zero to n minus k plus one iterates n minus k plus one times. Uh, yeah, so if they're all unique, that is that we got actually got the maximum number of possible strings, so nothing got thrown away as a duplicate, then we can output k, and we're done. Uh, so to form the strings, wait, go to all possible starting locations, and then just go out k characters and add that to our string. Uh, so that's the problem.